What's going on, YouTube and comic book community? It's me, So Comics, and I'm bringing you my weekly polls for this week. It feels good to be back in the swing of things and do my weekly polls, my reviews for you. So let's get into the comics. Let's do it. So I picked up uh, Suicide Squad Rebirth number one. I said I was going to give almost every Rebirth a try. I did not pick up Harley Quinn. Fuck Amanda Connor's art. That shit's gross as shit. I don't really care for Harley Quinn. I think the hype for her is retarded. Like, she's a great character. I have a book coming that I'm going to be showing off either this week or next week that I think, like, is my, my idea of what Harley Quinn should be and why I don't like this new Harley Quinn and she's pretty much DC's Deadpool, and I hate it. I absolutely, I hate it. It's terrible. But I picked this up because I like the other members of the Suicide Squad. I don't like Harley Quinn. And that cover is really nice. I also picked up Nightwing number two. This is on my pull list. This is on my subscription. I picked up both. Uh, both covers, I thought both were really cool. I'm not going to pick up variants anymore unless I think they're awesome. Because I think the hype for... I think the hype for Rebirth has died down. Considering, um... I, I got to my comic store uh, pretty late. Probably at two hours uh, after they opened. And there were still plenty of copies of Rebirth. So I think the... I think the hype and the flippers and all that have kind of settled down with the, the copies of Rebirth. Because I honestly believe the only reason, like, we were having problems was, like... I mean, flippers aren't a problem, but... You know, when they're going to a store and buying, like... Every copy to turn or whatever, uh... And, you know, the Marvel... A lot of the Marvel, uh... You Marvel fanboys out there were even getting some rebirth issues just because that was... You know, like, the hot thing to do. Which is fine. But I think that's kind of settled down. I think people realize... Uh, what books they don't want and what books they do want. So you're seeing a lot more of the copies not all the way selling out. So there's still some to grab when I get in there if I want an extra or two. Because like for a while there, Superman was just gone. Five minutes after the store opened, gone. Just just not an issue for me to grab. And uh, now I was able to just go over there and kind of pick out a nicer copy that I wanted with, that wasn't all bent up or anything. You know, like the corners all mushed. But I picked up this. This is really great. I can't wait to read this. Uh, the Rebirth wasn't so great, but I have hopes for the the normal series. So I thought both these covers were cool. I like the Court of Owls. I love seeing the, the you know, Nightwing fight them. and uh, So that'll be a good read. I'm excited. Uh, this isn't on my pull list, but I think my comic shop just kind of like slid it in there. I definitely don't have this on my pull list. I can promise you that. Uh, and that is Aquaman number four. I didn't even get two or three because, one, they're not on my pull list. And I'm done with Aquaman. And I don't know why I got this cover. Like, I know they had the other cover where it was just, like, his, you know, his uniform, his chest, his front, his abdominal region. Uh, this one's okay. It makes Aquaman look a little, uh... I mean, he looks a little too girly on this front cover for me. I feel like that's I feel like that's like one of the biggest problems with Aquaman is like he's not taken seriously, and this is like uh, this cover just makes me also not take him seriously. Not that being a girl, you can't be taken seriously, but he just looks he doesn't even look like uh, he doesn't look menacing at all or anything like he. He's just swimming in the water. I mean, there could be, like, some sharks behind him or something. Or, you know, doesn't even have uh, anything going on. He's just very feminine looking. He doesn't look manly at all. Like, you know, he's Aquaman. This looks like Aqua Boy. I hope that maybe maybe that makes more sense. Like, he doesn't look very manly. He looks like he's aged back in time to, like, this looks like high school Aquaman. I don't know. I 
don't know why I got that. Maybe I'll give that away. Because I'm probably not going to read it and review it because I didn't get any of the other ones. I also picked up, this is on my pull list, Superman. I like Superman over Action Comics because I really like the dynamics between Clark and John. I think this book is awesome and I don't like Superman a whole lot. Uh, but I picked up both. This is the variant. The variant was okay. Um, I grabbed it just because it was alright. I like it. It's not terrible art. I wish, you know, Superman's a little small, so his face kind of looks a little crunched on the cover. But other than that, it's a cool cover, and I really liked... I really liked Superman and John on the front, you know, battling together. I think it's a really cool cover. I like team-up books, and it's a, definitely a really cool father-son team-up book. I can't wait to read this. I'm very surprised that I'm saying that about... Uh, a Superman book, but it's really, really good. So I'm just trying to get things a little straightened up here. And then, of course, this is on my pull list. Batman number four. Uh, here, big things. Uh, I don't know if you've... I've been on some live shows, and I've even talked about this, where I've been saying I truly believe that Gotham and Gotham Girl are just way too fucking cheesy to be real heroes and villains in a Batman series. I just... They're too cheesy. Their names, their costumes, it's too fucking cheesy for it to be a real thing. And I've always said that I honestly think they're going to betray Batman and the city, and they're going to be villains. And I'm not going to spoil it, but it's sort of coming true, really, what, what I kind of believed. And maybe in other issues we'll see that they just aren't who we think they are, and Batman might have some new foes, which would be pretty cool. You know, some heroes who we thought were heroes who are going to backstab Batman. I think that would make for a really cool series. Especially since these villains have Superman-like powers. Almost. So I picked up two. I did not get the Tim Sale cover. I know uh, I've bought almost every Tim Sale cover so far. They've had Grundy on the cover. They're great. I love the Long Halloween. The art's not... Uh, the art on the other two were pretty great. I love seeing Grundy. I love the way he draws Grundy and all that, but... Man, as other people have said, that cover was bad. And I'm not going to stick up for uh, an artist that I really like if he does a really shit cover. That was a really shit cover. Uh, Batman looked like he was melting. He looked like he was made out of wax and he was fucking melting. Like somebody left him out in the hot sun and he just started to... I don't know, he looked really terrible. But I picked up two of the normals because I always pick up two. In case, you know, later down the road these become valuable and I could do some trading... I'm always down to do some trading for something that I need. So I picked up two Batmans. Because that's like that's like my title that I look forward to. And this is also on my pull list. I picked up Justice League number two. I love the Justice League. Uh, I thought this cover was awesome. I love all the Flash on there. You got some Speedsters. You got Batman. You got Jessica Cruz on the front. This is a pretty awesome cover. I didn't get the Wonder Woman very... I didn't like it. Uh, I didn't like... I just didn't like it. It just was a boring cover. So I, I really like this one. Um, I can't wait to read this. I'm very excited. I love the Justice League. Partially why I don't buy Green Arrow books and Aquaman anymore. Uh, and the Green Lanterns is because I don't really want to read them in a solo series. I want to read them together as a team. In the Justice League. That's where I would rather read these guys at. So I'm, I'm really excited for the Justice League. And then, uh, of course, me and Kim, we read The Walking Dead. This is one book that my girlfriend likes and she collects. is The Walking Dead. I picked up both covers because she loves Michonne. Um, so I picked this one up. It's a pretty cool cover. And the art's alright. It's not bad. It's not my favorite, but I thought she would really like it. And uh, I think Semperfy was saying that he thinks this might be like a... Uh, like there might be a connecting cover to this book because there's a lot of stuff that's cut off. And that'd be really cool. She'd really like that. She'd dig that. So I, I'm glad I picked that up. I also got the, uh, the other cover, The Whisper War, Part 1 of 6. This should be a pretty good uh, little run there after what we saw in the last issue. Pick those up. 
Now, uh, these next two polls were not on my pull list, but I was, you know, I'm on my phone and I'm in the store at the local comic book store and I, I'm making sure I'm not forgetting anything. I make myself a list uh, and then like the notepad on the phone of the books that I, I want to look for. I'll even write down indies uh, because a lot of the time my store doesn't get every indie that comes out and that way I can remember which indies that I kind of wanted to check out and see if they're there. Um, I knew that uh, Trinity Comics was looking for Old Man Logan. I went to my other store last week. They didn't have any except for the 2015 run. Uh, he was looking for 2016. And as I was grabbing, um, I think Nightwing, I was looking for another a better copy of the one than the one I had. And I saw they had a ton of the Old Man Logan, so I was going through on the shelf. And, of, of course, they had... He was looking for... He posted on the Facebook group 1 through 9, and they have pretty much 1 through 9. Uh, they only had one copy of one and one copy of two. Uh, I bought him two because I was getting ready to leave, and I was like, I need to know if you need it still. And he's like, oh, I'm betting on one. But I picked it up for him anyways just in case. I figured even if he doesn't need it, somebody else might need it later, or I could just sell it. doesn't matter. It was cover price, $3.99. Uh, he, it turns out he does need it, so great. I'm going to be shipping this to him hopefully today or tomorrow. Uh, he's already emailed me. This is his. Got it in a nice bag. Uh, it's a nice book. I'm not going to be reviewing this because this is going to him, so he can tell you about it. Uh, but yeah, I don't have much to say besides uh, I don't mind picking stuff up for people if I see them in my shop. I'm not going to overcharge you. I'm not. I mean, shipping sucks. I know this, and I can, there's no way I can make it cheaper on you guys, but. Uh, if I get you a book and it's like cover price, that's all I'm going to charge you is cover price plus shipping, and I'm going to ship it pretty well. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to try to bubble mailers if I don't have to. I'm going to try to do like nice boxes like uh, in the next book. I'll talk about it here. But this is Trinity's Trinity's. This is for you. I'm going to get that out for you either today or tomorrow. Here, I still need to go get some shipping supplies. I'm I'm kind of running low. Uh, this is another book. This was a uh, I you know I saw on the group. The group's actually awesome. If you haven't Join it. Go join the Blaster Stash at Facebook group. It's awesome. Uh, I would have never known about this because I, 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 you know, I just I didn't know about it. Uh, Huey posted that if anybody uh, sees Hillbilly Two in their comic shop to pick him up a copy. I just kind of walked over to the end and they had two. Uh, that's I think I don't know. I think that might be all they ordered, but uh, so I bought them both and I told them, hey, if if nobody's put you up on it yet i picked you up a copy uh because if he didn't you know if he didn't need it, i was just gonna sell them both this one's mine i'm gonna sell it it's in mylar already looking real nice look at how shiny that looks in the mylar so this is uh selling for pretty good huey's already i already mailed his out yesterday so he should be getting it this week so maybe he'll do a video unboxing uh the book but I hope it gets to him safely. So there you go. That's uh, what I picked up. Oh, I also I want to show you guys this. I got a. Uh, you know, you always get like the comic shop news when you buy stuff. But uh, I wanted to show you guys this. I got some. I, I normally look through the uh, the stuff I get. And I know I'm not into Marvels, but I got this little like. Um, it's kind of like a poster. You get these four little mini covers. And then, um, I don't know if everyone got this. It's like a little mini poster of Gwenpool number five. I, if, if somebody wants it, I mean, I can send it to you. It's kind of, you know, it's folded in half because it's, it's an ad. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if anybody wants that. It's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty neat. Got some emails going off. And then uh, along with that, I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, this is for the DC Comics. Uh, there's some, it's like a, it's an ad for new stuff coming out. This is a little thing, it's a, the uh, DC's Young Animal stuff. I think it's got a, yeah, this is the, the Young Animal stuff. But it's really cool, it's a little book, black and white. It tells up, tells some about the characters. It's got the characters, like they all have a little page with some information and, um, Uh, a little letter from Gerard Way, 
who's doing uh, Young Animals, and I think he's doing Doom Patrol. But uh, this was really cool. It's got a. It's kind of. I don't know if these comics. I don't know if this is something to look. I don't know if. The, sorry guys, it's early. I'm stuttering. Sorry. I don't know if this is like a peek at what the book's gonna be, but there's like some panels that are drawn. There's no text. But it's just kind of. I don't know if this is like a mini preview of what we can expect. I'll show it to you guys. Here. Let's see if I can. I'm going to get a better camera, guys, here soon so I can focus. But yeah, I don't know. I thought this was pretty cool. I don't know if everyone got one of these. But I was pleasantly surprised. It's got some pretty cool art in it. Um... I think that's the last page, but yeah. It's a cool little book that I that came with it. So definitely check that out. I don't know if your shops have them anymore. And of course I got some other ads. And that's it. That's what I picked up this week. Um, I'm going to be doing a... Uh, I have a rant video coming for you guys after this one, so I hope you guys stay tuned. Uh, it has to do with uh, comic book accessories and I hope you guys got everything you needed I'm sorry I couldn't buy hillbillies for everybody who didn't get them um, if I go to my other stores this week I will check and as always um, if you ever need anything you know join the Facebook group blaster stash it post what you're looking for and that's great because it stays there for a while and, you know, I always check, you know, if somebody posts something to Facebook, I always look for that stuff when I'm in the uh, my shops. And I'll try to grab it if I can. And uh, I'll just, just charge you what I paid for in shipping. So, uh, as always, uh, be excellent to one another. And I'll see you this, well, I'll see you in the next video, but I'll see you really... Uh, in the next coming days for uh, the reviews of this week's books and my top picks. Take care, everyone.